Have you ever been in a situation where you show somebody some love and respect and for whatever reason, they didn't show it back? You feel quite disappointed and sometimes even let down. And you call that situation at some level disparity because you gave them parity and they gave you disparity. So now it's time to give they ass some disrespect. And that's exactly what happened with Tasha K and Joe Button. Now, let me just tell you the story how it went down. Tasha K is currently right now trying to do some rebranding, you know, ever since the Cardi B thing. She got her own comedy shows and stuff like that. And a lot of people want her for interviews, but because of what's going on with Cardi B and how that has affected her brand, she typically don't like taking interviews, which is odd because Tasha K asks people those kind of questions on her channel. She goes after people all the time and she even ruined Derek Jackson because he didn't want to come onto her podcast. But like I said, you know, but people are hypocritical as hell in life. Now, what happened was Tasha K is very selective with who she goes on to the podcast with. Let's check out the clips. So when we were putting together my PR run, okay, for our October 20th uh, wine gossip and comedy show in Miami, everybody has been reaching out to me to do an interview. Everybody. I have turned down, if I turned down We in Miami four times. But if I ever give that one interview, it's got to be with black media. It's got to be with somebody that I feel that is not afraid to allow the truth to come out, but still remain objective. And I really honestly thought, because I thought long and hard that that was going to be Joe Budden. I said, I could have sat down with anybody to give that one, that one, right? My interview with Adam is nothing compared to what I did. For Joe Budden, I said, and with Tasha K being selective and wanting to do black media, she decided that she would go to Joe Button's podcast because Joe Button has hosted so many legendary people, Kevin Samuels, everybody in the industry, Nicki Minaj. It was only a place that she felt comfortable going to because she felt Joe Button was going to be fair. After all, when Joe Button was having his issues, she was fair to him and she gave him the benefit of the doubt. Well, as it seems, when she pulled up to Joe Button's show, he didn't want to give her the benefit of the doubt. And according to Adam22 and Tasha K, this is what she had to say. I really respected Joe Budden, and yeah. he's like a huge inspiration for me content-wise, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the way he did me dirty in that situation, yeah. just because he was salty because I massacred him on his own podcast. Damn. That hurt. You did that? That's kind of when I realized, like, oh, that's why everybody hates him in the industry. Yeah, he's good at what he does, though. Yeah. I just did his podcast. Did you? He had all of them come at me. And when them. I left the room, they all submitted and said they were winos. That whole room together don't equal up to one. They was like, K. you're tearing down the black community. I said, oh, yeah. The black community said the same thing about you, too, Joe. Yeah. I said, when you supposedly kick the, the girlfriend ribs out and the baby out of stomach and shit like that. I mean, that's it. You said that? Yeah. What did he say? <laughs> Whoa. He probably edited it out. <laughs> You think he edited uh, that out? He probably edited that out, but I was just like, we're not going to do this because you notice I didn't report on that because I knew it was bullshit. Like, if you really keep the baby out of that girl's stomach, she wouldn't have. So as you see, there is not that level of parity, right? It seems that Tasha K is not getting the same level of love that she's showing Joe Button, but there's more information to come about. So Tasha K did Joe Button's podcast he was supposed to drop the podcast quick, but then Cardi B, give me a phone ringing a sound effect. Cardi B called up. Can I get like a phone ringing sound effect to Joe Button? And somehow Joe Button was shook because if he drops this podcast with Tasha K, he's going to have some issue with Cardi B. You know that Joe Button used to be a rapper in the industry, so he still has those ties. And a lot of industry people go through Joe Button's podcast. So Joe Button didn't put the interview up, but Adam 22 put the interview up and this is what he said. All right, Tasha K interview dropping momentarily. Yes, it's a Saturday, but the thing just turned green. Great interview, great conversation. Nobody can intimidate me not to drop amazing conversations that I have on camera. I'm not. So we all know that Adam 22 
and Joe Button got a little bit of a beef going on, right? And I'm not even gonna get into that because it's not important. But Tasha K really regrets going on the Joe Buttons podcast. And she came after black men, which is why I don't understand why she did that. But this is what she had to say about Joe Button and it's scathing. A woman beater, all of these things. But I should have known that when he sat his ass on Drink Champs and he said out his own mouth that when Jay-Z calls, he gets scared. And I said that to him in the interview that I did. I said, you and I, you know, even though we're the same, but the way you move and the way I move is different. Jay-Z can't call me and tell me to bark. Jay-Z don't pay none of y'all bills, but for you to be a black man to sit up and just bow down to this other black man and he ain't did a thing for you, he didn't even remember saying that. Then when I hear, you know, oh, he's got to comb through the interview, he's got to make sure this and make sure that, I bodied each and every one of those black men to the point that all of them said after they were done, we're winos. Tasha, you can come back here anytime you want. I sat outside and I had a conversation with this black man. I said, you know what's sad is that we cannot as black media stick together for the betterment of the people. And he was like, black media will never do it. Black media will never do it. And now he's literally owning up to his own words. And I honestly regret sitting down with him and giving him that one interview that would shake social media so bad that it shook his fake ass. In that lace shirt with his belly sitting over his dick. That he did exactly what the BBL told him to do because just like every other weak ass black man, they choose ass over bills. And I honestly regret giving him the interview that I should have gave that Adam 22 when he had the intelligence to read like i said i mean it sounds emotional but hey t.s madison has said the same thing about tasha k other popular social media influencers such as my brother tony the closer have said similar things about tasha k being fake like right here when, when my girl gave your ass my girl gave you my girl gave you free clothes that you never even used never paid enough you a trifle nigga bro you gonna disrespect my girl. My girl ain't been nothing but nice to you when she didn't want to with you. She only gave you them clothes based off me. You was begging for her clothes for weeks on weeks on weeks. You kept begging me for clothes. You kept asking me to get Nicole's clothes the whole time. And then you get your black nasty ass up here and disrespect my girl. You a trifle. You a trifle. My girl, my girl ain't want to with you from the beginning. You try to get her to come and do interviews and all kind of shit. She wouldn't do it. You a You a this is what I'm talking about. This is you what gay man. This is what gay. You a. This is what gay man do. You, you so again, everybody can be fake or not. The the reality is this, all right? Tasha K showed Joe Button some level of respect that Joe Button didn't show her. And from what I've heard, Joe Button is hella fake. Tasha K is hella fake. A lot of folks on this social media thing is hella fake and as far as black media goes and black media is concerned you got as just as many snakes in black media than you got in white media and here's what i'll tell you as a guy who's helped a lot of people and people turn on you and whatever else right love who love you whatever folks you want to work with work with them and like i said if you can't work with them you can't work with them we all got our little clicks and things like that it would be great in black media if we could all come together but a lot of times those situations can't really happen and like i said if you're that person who's guilty of giving out that venom like tasha k is well then you're probably going to be on the receiving of it somehow also and um like i said hey i'm here just to see what's going on what do you guys think? Subscribe at the bell. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Here with another episode of Fair Use. I'm out.